Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania Game 4 of Round 1 between Zeke and DeWalt. Upper left-hand corner, we got Zeke starting as the Red Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the Blue Protoss. This is the first game I'm doing after my first BSL cast, which I don't know when this is going to come out on. But if you haven't watched BSL Season 14, Day 1, I got to cast, which was an absolute blast with Gypsy. The first time I've gotten to cast with Gypsy. Check out Gypsy Nyokin. Seriosity, I think Doc Holiday's even going to be able to sneak in games uh, here and there. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to cast again, but it's an absolute... I just love... There's something... I just love doing it. I love doing it. It's a lot of fun. And speaking of BSL, Season 14, Zeke and DeWalt Top Contenders. And this actually might be a preview of, if not the finals, potentially deep in the semifinals. Zeke scouting upper right hand corner. <clears throat> DeWalt actually showing a little bit... Having a... Don't want to spoil anything, but... Looking to have some trouble against Zerg, so... I'm almost wondering if Zeke prevailed against DeWalt in this overall series. DeWalt putting the pylon on the low ground, potentially to set up... Honestly, with this positioning, potentially to set up for either Forge or Gateway first. Uh, I would not be shocked to see Gateway first. There is Gateway first. I'm going to go ahead and move that scout out to the bottom right-hand corner. Zeke has opened up for a 9 pool, which is... And it looks like he's done the extractor trick to go ahead and get that 10th drone out. So we'll have early Zerglings to deal with the initial Zealot. And potentially, if DeWalt doesn't defend his front door, there could be Zekelings in his main that he's going to have to deal with. And one thing that I think really separates Zeke from other Zergs is his early game Zergling control. And just how frustrating he makes it for other players. Looks like the drone... Actually, Drone Scout... Checking mid portion, not seeing the Overlord, so instead moving upper left, the drone now scouting is going to find the gateway in bottom left. And we do have the initial six Zerglings on the way. Second drone moving out, so DeWalt might be able to delay the hatchery slightly. Looks like Zeke holding up short briefly. The initial Zerglings are going to come out. Let's see if they're going to deal with that drone or if they're going to go straight for the base. In the meantime, First Zealot is out, starting to march its way across the map. Looks like there wasn't a lot of additional harassment with these six Zerglings. That drone actually breaking off, potentially to try to intercept Zeke at his third and do some disruptions there. I like that play from DeWalt. In the meantime, Forge is down. Probes do need to come off the line to help defend this for a brief period of time, as here come the Zerglings. Six Zerglings here, taking an initial shot in the face with some blades, and another shot in the face, but... Turn around, Micro. The pro getting taken out. The Zerglings focusing that initial Zealot. Four Zerglings are going to slip through. So Zeke forcing his way up the ramp. Able to get a second pro kill. So two pro kills and a push. And it looks like two Zerglings also split off to the 12 o'clock location. As a side thought from Zeke to take out a probe there. So early game. DeWalt already down. Three probes and a Zealot. Two Zealots now plugging that gap. Additional Zealots being produced. But this is going to be frustrating. Particularly as these Zerglings can kind of play that early role of denying that natural expansion. And this is what I was talking about, Zekilings, uh, in the early game. Another probe down. And Zerglings still... So several of them weakened, but none of them taken out. So doing a great job of creating a lot of frustration. Let's see how long they potentially might even be able to delay this gas. Extractor up, 12 o'clock location halfway there, and it looks like the natural expansion is running. But the other problem, more Zerglings actually slipping through. Wow. So it looks like a Zergling was taken out in the main, but another Zergling able to slip through the gap. And DeWalt at least now can take his Nexus, but this Nexus is coming down to the four-minute mark. So very delayed. Two additional Zerglings getting picked out. And Zeke, most, well, let's see if he just tries to hold these Zerglings back for scouting purposes. In the interim, these Zealots marching across the map to try to create some equalization. Zeke saw it, though. So doing a little bit of harassment of that probe there, but does have four Zerglings... Currently out more in production to try to deal with these initial zealots. The zealots marching out to the 12 o'clock location, maybe to pick off some drones there. It looks like they're not going to be able to march into the main. And this is going to be a pretty fast lair. And Zeke cleaning up the, the getting his zerglings cleaned up finally. But the simulator just coming online at the 4 minute 30. I like this play from DeWalt. Okay, holding the ground with the zealots. And then using that final zealot to go ahead and... Assault that 12 o'clock location. That is going to halt mining here at the 12 o'clock location briefly. And more zealots marching out. So doing what he can with a bad situation. Knows he needs to buy himself some time. 
Overlord taking some shots and more zelts marching across. DeWalt pocketing a lot of these zelts to the 12 o'clock location. Zeke actually going to go ahead and pull his drones out. And he's built a lot of Zerglings, and actually DeWalt needs to be careful. He's moved a lot of Zealots across this map, and this is opening up a potential counterattack situation. There is one cannon down, and a probe still blockading. But with the amount of Zerglings that are going to be fielded, if he isn't careful with his Zealot defense, Zeke might counterattack and do damage there. But right now, wants to take this 12 o'clock hatchery out. The Zerglings looking to pounce. Lair is almost finished. And the Zerglings engaging the Zealots at the 12 o'clock location. It looks like they're getting some decent spread. DeWalt doing a pretty good job of positioning back. However, it looks like the Zealot force is going to get cleaned up. They weren't able to kill any drones. We're able to clean up a handful of Zerglings. But now DeWalt does not have much of a, an attack force to help defend or really accomplish anything at his base. He does have that Stargate on the way. And because of the force Zerglings, that's going to delay... A little bit of Zeke's economy, but a lot of Zerglings are making their way across. And even with the one cannon here, actually with a bit of support, Zeke might have an opportunity. At the very least, he's got map control. Because it's going to be a while before DeWalt's in a position to put on any pressure. Wisely putting down a second cannon. And he's going to need more cannons momentarily, I think, to defend against the Mutalisks. Grabbing weapons one. Which I think... Yeah, he needs to slow Zeke down at this stage. I think he realizes his inability currently to halt any sort of production on Zeke's side. Second extractor being planted down. Looks like we got a fourth hatchery. And as I say that, somehow he managed to slip four zealots through. Zeke, looking for the turnaround, is going to jump on top of the cannons. Actually, ignoring the cannons, just going to run straight into the main. Fourth hatchery on the way. More zerglings being forced to be, produ to be produced right as that spire is coming online. The Zealots are going to have a window here, but the Zerglings going ahead and trying to halt that cannon because if some Mutalisks can get freed up to take care of these Zealots, DeWalt everywhere. So how did he even manage this, honestly? Zealots attacking the drones of the natural expansion. More Zerglings coming across the line. It looks like they're going to get, it looks like he managed to clean up the Zerglings, but not before they were able to take out that cannon. One Corsair there at the main. Now, Zeke can get some larva rolling and if he has the economy to do so he can go ahead it looks like he's going to grab a fifth hatchery there is a potential if he had enough larva to go ahead and grab a mutalisk grab some scourge take out a corsair and then wreak some havoc in the main it looks like another cannon being dropped but right now as things stand dewalt has actually done a great job after all of these things where i'm like i don't know that he can he still managed to hold ziki to 29 drones which is still decent but not where ziki was hoping to sail to and has really just been a frustration this entire game. It looks like, and actually it's going to be double Stargate. I love it. So double Stargate in the main. Level one weapons just about finishing. And so he's going to have a little bit of a light zealot force just because of the amount of zealots he's pushed out there in the interim. Citadel of Adun coming online. But he's going to have a sizable Corsair fleet. The Scourge wandering up. Now, are they going to scout it is the question. So sees the initial... But is he going to check the natural expansion? Zeke's not checking the natural expansion, which means he very likely was going to get caught off guard by the sheer. And it looks like he has plopped down that hydralist den. He's moving towards. Uh, is this six hatch? Looks like six hatch. Ooh, double hydralist den. Bit of a misplay there. So we got three hatcheries here at the 12 o'clock location. We got three hatcheries otherwise for six hatch. So it looks like it's going to be six hatch hydra with mutalisks as a potential behind this. He needs to build a lot of Hydralisks very, very rapidly. He's got a lot of Scourge, but DeWalt might be able to micro against this, particularly with plus one weapons. So the Overlord's taking some damage. Scourge mostly getting taken out. Looks like one of looks like two of them landed, but the Overlords are gonna get obliterated overhead. In the meantime, and more Corsairs are moving forward to go ahead and put Zeke deep in the red. An evolution chamber being dropped wisely. He's gonna need to, yeah, get. Spore colonies up, more scourge being produced, but they're going to get hunted down in short order. Zeke, yeah, I think that was the last wave. And honestly, I don't know that these scourge are ever going to get an opportunity because with insufficient numbers, particularly plus one weapons, it's hard to land them. And as I say that, it looks like he managed, yeah, only landed on one Corsair right there. And that was a lot of gas that was lost. So Zeke overproducing overlords because he needs to in between. And now just getting annihilated 
just all sorts of economic damage, exactly what Dewalt was looking for. Moving up again with these Corsairs, and he has taken down so many overlords with this tech switch. Spore Colony able to take down at least a Corsair. More Scourge running out. The Corsairs backing off. Some Zerglings moving their way down, but there's already a Zealot attack force primed with plus one weapons, level one armor. DeWalt's still going to have the problem of can he go ahead and move out and take a third in the midst of this? Way ahead in supply currently. A huge swarm of Scourge making their way, and I love this window. Looks like Zeke spotted it, but while Zeke was distracted trying to move up with the Zealots and get more economic harassment and damage done. The Scourge still looking to find, getting picked off by these Corsair, trying to micro on two fronts. And these Zealots do not need to be babysat because they've got that plus one weapons. And it, how far off it looks like plus one armor is a, def a decent ways away. But just sitting outside the natural expansion, there are two Sunkens there. And now finally some Mutalisks being produced. He wants to try to reclaim air control and might have some trouble doing so more corsairs moving out more zealots looking to join they have leg speed as well but basically right outside the natural expansion trying to poke at that overlord count continuously I'm not sure that speed has been hasn't been queued but a lot of gateways here in the background i think dewalt's in a comfortable position to go ahead and grab a third if he wants to some dragoons joining the attack force as well. An additional hatchery being planted. Looks like Spines is being upgraded. And Mutalisk is starting to move across the map. But yeah, they need to get a solid engagement on the Corsairs to make it happen. I think they're hoping to soften up the Zealots as well. Looks like they have found the Zealot force, but the, the Dragoons alongside, I don't think they want an engagement, particularly with the Corsairs, not that far away. Still trying to poke at the edge of this army line. And the Corsairs immediately filtering forward, and I love this. Poking away, but needs to be, yeah. DeWalt really being on top of this army cohesion. Keeping the Corsairs with the Dragoons and the Zealots pressing forward. The Mutalists looking for a counterattack. There is only a single cannon here in the main that might drive at least the Corsairs back to home base. But in the interim, DeWalt diving in to the natural expansion. One sunken colony down, the second sunken colony taken out. The Heidel's trying to back out into this Sim City. Some reinforcements coming from the north, but it is overwhelming attack force. Zeke calling GG right there, and DeWalt showing why he is a tour de force in PVZ evens it up 2 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.